In video 3 of this series, we took a look at the basic editing functions of Newtone. In this video, we're going to take a look at editing your audio with the advanced functions. To work with some of the advanced editing tools, we need to switch to the advanced editing mode. This can be done in one of two ways. The first is by selecting advanced edit from the edit menu. Or by clicking on the advanced edit button. Once you are in advanced mode, the cursors that appear when you put your mouse over a note will be different than the ones we looked at in video 3. While the hand tool that lets you move the note's timing is still there. As are the trimming cursors to trim the start and end of a note. There are new ones that are used to control the volume and variations of a note, including fades and variation ramps. When in advanced mode, you can get a closer look at each note by double clicking on it to zoom in. Let's start with volume editing. With the cursor placed over the note to display the advanced options, move the mouse over the downward arrow in the blue volume box that is above the note. Dragging the mouse down will, as you see, decrease the volume of that note. Of course, dragging upwards will increase the volume of a note. In addition to adjusting the volume of a note, we can apply some fades to the start and end of each note. By clicking on the green vertical bar at the start of the note and within the blue box, dragging upwards or downwards, we can add a fade in or a fade out. By clicking on the green vertical bar at the start of a note and within the blue box, dragging it to the right, we can add a fade in to the note. The section that is in the green box is where our fade will be. We can adjust the fade by clicking and dragging up or down inside the green box. The same can be done for a fade out by adjusting the red vertical bar on the right side of the note to adjust the fade out length and then clicking up or down the red arrows to set the fade. Moving down to the blue box that is under the note is where we can tweak the note's variation. Click and drag in the middle section to raise or lower the note's variation. We can adjust the variation at the start and end of a note as well by adjusting the green and red boxes at the front and back of a note. This helps adjust the transition between two notes with more accuracy than the global transition parameter. To exit out of advanced mode and to zoom out at the same time, simply double click within the editor. Often I will combine the global parameters with the advanced edit options. First I will adjust the global parameters to the variations and transitions are smooth and close to being flat. Then I'll adjust the center so the notes are quantized to their closest pitch. Then I'll use the advanced editing tools so that I can come and tweak each note using the variation and volume editors. And this concludes our look at the new tone plugin in FL Studio a quick, simple and intuitive tool for fine-tuning your monophonic audio samples.